In this video, we're going to be solving sine of x plus 70 equals 0.6, okay? And we're going to solve it between 0 and 360. Now, it is useful at this stage to be able to identify what has happened to sine x here. Because we're not solving sine x equals 0.6, we've got this plus 70 inside the bracket. So, in actual fact, sine x, y equals sine x, has been transformed to y is equal to sine of x plus 70. Now, we should identify this with the previous section where we were looking at functions that were transformed like this. And the fact that we've got this plus a number involved, that means it's a translation by... Well, because we've got plus 70 inside the bracket, that means that it's moving minus 70 in the x direction. And there's nothing added onto the end, and so it's not moving up or down. And so, in actual fact, the whole sine curve is being translated 70 degrees to the left. Okay? That is what is happening here. So, how is that going to affect our method? OK, well, it's not going to affect it a great deal. OK, but the method that I use here is a template for what we're going to work with for all of these transformed curves. OK, so I'm going to inverse sine. OK, and I effectively what that means is I inverse sine both sides, which leaves me the x plus 70 degrees and I inverse sine the 0.6. Okay? Now I make sure my calculator is in degrees to start off with. My calculator is in radians, so shift mode and then number 3. So inverse sine of 0.6 is what I do first. And I get x plus 70 is 36.9 degrees to one decimal place. Okay? So at this stage, I then sketch the curve. Now, I'm not going to sketch sine of x plus 70. Sketching the transformed curve is complicated. And I don't want to have to complicate this problem. So in all of these, I never sketch the transformed curve. It doesn't matter what the transformation is. I never sketch that. I sketch sine x as if nothing's happened to it. Right? So that's an easier curve to remember. We're going between 0 and 360. And we're solving it at 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is about there. There is my first solution. OK, so that's the 36.9. And I can get the second solution by subtracting 36.9 from 180. So 180 take away the answer is 143. Point one. Okay? Now, these are not the solutions to that original problem. Okay? In actual fact, I have this equation and I now have this equation. So I put the x plus 70 equal to the second number that I found. Okay? And at last, I then solve these two equations by subtracting 70 from both sides. So 36.9 take away 70. So I've got to get back um, to inverse sine of 0 0.6. Uh, take away 70. And that gets me minus 33.1 degrees. OK. Um, now that is not between 0 and 360. OK. Oh dear. Right, so how can I get around this problem? Well, for demonstration purposes only, okay, um, because I don't want to get you to think that you've got to draw this transformed curve, but let's do a little sketch of what this would look like. Okay, so here is the sine curve, for example, right? Now, 
that's usually where the y-axis is. So what's happened is that this curve has translated minus 70 to the left. Okay, so that is uh, where 90 is. So that means that the new, or the y-axis, would be something like that. Looks something like that, okay? So between the 0 and 360, actually this curve is going to come up, and that point will be the same height as that one. So when I do the 0 0.6, it's going to cut the curve there and there, okay, between the 0 and 360, okay? This is the solution that my calculator has now got, this minus 33.1. So in order to get this solution over there, I must add on the period of the function. So I add on how much gets me from one bit of the curve to the other, one whole period of the function, as taken from the previous video. So you can add and subtract periods of this function. So if I wanted to get this solution over here, I could subtract 360. Okay? And I can add and subtract amounts of the period backwards and forwards until I found all the solutions that I need. So I'm going to add 360 degrees to this. And I get 326.9 degrees. So that is definitely one of my final answers. For this one, so if I get back to that 143.1 quickly okay then I'm going to subtract 70 from both sides and I get 73.1 obviously okay to one decimal place that is definitely between 0 and 360 and on my diagram up here corresponds to that one okay so I now have this one and this solution this 326.9 is that one and I have the two solutions that are between 0 and 360. Now, in practice, I don't ever bother drawing the transformed curve. I'm just doing it here for demonstration purposes, OK? So I wouldn't bother drawing this, because drawing it can be quite fiddly and complicated. But just so that you know that you, if you get a solution that is outside the range that you're working with, you can just add or subtract 360, the period of the function, to your solutions until you get to one that is within the range that you want. OK? So the two solutions that solve the original problem are 73.1 degrees to one decimal place and 326.9 degrees to one decimal place. OK? So there are your answers.